They use their media to assassinate real news. They use their schools to teach children that their president is another Hitler. They use their movie stars and singers and comedy shows and award shows to repeat their narrative over and over again. And then they use their ex-president to endorse the resistance, all to make them march, make them protest, make them scream racism and sexism and xenophobia and homophobia, to smash windows, burn cars, shut down interstates and airports, bully and terrorize the law abiding, until the only option left is for the police to do their jobs and stop the madness. And when that happens, they'll use it as an excuse for their outrage. The only way we stop this, the only way we save our country and our freedom is to fight this violence of lies with the clenched fist of truth. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. Well, I think a substantial part of it was voter suppression, no question in my mind. If you look at Wisconsin, uh, photo ID uh, has uh, led to over, you know, about 200,000 people not being able to vote who could before, and the election was lost by about 22,000 votes. So it's, this is substantial, it's harmful. And you know, in Minnesota in 2012, they tried to pass photo ID in our state, and we defeated it at the ballot box. Um, but let me just tell you, I mean, they weren't pushing it because there were confirmed cases of imposter voting going on. There are like virtually no cases of imposter voting going on throughout the country. To claim voter fraud is a fraud in and of itself. The reality is that we have got to understand that they have decided that if they cannot win on the basis of ideas, they're just going to stop people from being able to participate. And I think that voter suppression kind of feeds on itself, right? So if you suppress some people from voting, they're not voting, people get discouraged. They say, well, I don't have an ID. You know, do you have one? I don't know, next thing you know, that you can get sort of an effect that goes beyond even the population that's been suppressed. And it's not just photo ID. It's also vote purging voter rolls, it's felon uh, uh, disenfranchisement, big hand the government call up for his work on felon reenfranchisement. Uh, that's awesome. And so it is a mix. Now, I'm not going to say that there's not, that, that we couldn't have campaigned better. I happen to believe that we must and we, and we, and we can. Uh, on behalf of the EFD, I give the floor to Mr. Farage. Thank you. Imagine you invited a very important guest round for dinner and you made all the preparations and there were some very important confidential conversations that needed to be had and you thought everything had gone well and yet within hours your guest had told the outside world that you the host were deluded that you were living in a different galaxy and then all the contents of the conversation were blabbed to an opposition newspaper and to add insult to injury uh, you say the food wasn't actually very good either and then a few days later in a display of extreme petulance, you even deride the national language of the host, which, by the way, is looking a bit silly, because last Saturday's extravaganza, known as the Eurovision Song Contest, saw 90% of the songs sung in English. Now, if you were the host and you'd been treated like that by somebody that you thought was important and somebody you thought you could trust, I think you'd be asking yourself, were you dealing with a reasonable person? Now, I don't know, Mr Juncker, whether this is how you carry on in Luxembourg. I doubt it, because in any other part of the civilised world, frankly, that behaviour would be considered to be bloody rude and the act of a bully. Well, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Your attempt to bully the Brits through this negotiation is not working. 68% now of the British people want Brexit to happen. And all of that on top, of a ludicrous ransom 
that Monsieur Barnier wants that I'm told has now doubled to 100 billion euros. Either we get some grown-up, reasonable demands from the European Union or the United Kingdom will be forced to walk away before the end of this year. We can't spend two years with this farce. There is a big, big world out there and I'm beginning to think that perhaps, I very rarely agree with Marxists, but perhaps Mr Varoufakis is right when he says about negotiating with the EU, it is a technocracy that is desperately clinging on to its own exorbitant and illegitimate power. You may have crushed Greek democracy two years ago, you ain't going to do it to us. ...is reporting that the NATO allies have been told, the leaders have been told, keep your speeches short at these closed sessions because they are usually very discursive, very long-winded, and they all have been told that President Trump has a very short attention span. We talk about people feeling this urge to really speak out right now. Sports normally a, a Teflon world where athletes and coaches go out of their way to avoid making waves with the media. And one of the most understated coaches, the five-time championship coach of the San Antonio Spurs, Greg Popovich, uh, he, he's usually so understated, but he was anything but that. Uh, here, listen. It was a very weird night for many reasons which I don't think any of us can, you know, grab onto. It's like trying to figure out the presidency, same, same. <laughs> to this day, I just, I feel like there's a, a, a cloud, a pall over the, the whole country in a, in a paranoid, surreal sort of way. It's got nothing to do with the Democrats losing the election. Uh, it's got to do with the way one individual conducts himself uh, and that's, uh, it's embarrassing, uh, it's dangerous to our institutions and what we all stand for and what we expect the country to be, but for this individual, he's in a game show, uh, and everything that happens begins and ends with him, not our people or our country. Every time he talks about those things, that's just a ruse. That's just disingenuous, cynical, and, uh, Fake.